Then she began to cry, and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless cry. So she started to cry. It was the first time she was encountering her teacher. And during time, during that time, what has happened? The tears started flowing her eyes. She kept her head down as she sat in the corner and not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her. She was just feeling like you can say quite in a sad mood. She was not able to look upward because the girls around her were laughing at her. That's why she is crying just here upon asking her name. When the school bell rang, all the girls scurried out of the classroom, but Bholi did not scurry. She moved hurriedly. Out of the classroom, but Bholi did not leave her corner. So the next day, what happened? Sorry, next afterwards, the next moment, what happened? That when all the girls they were moving out of the classroom, when the break bell rang, she was still stuck to one corner of the room. Her head still lowered, and she kept on sobbing. Her head was still lower, and she was crying. She was sobbing. Okay, Bholi. The teacher's voice was so soft and soothing. In all her life, she had never been called like that, and it really touched her heart. So the thing is that the way a person talks to you, it ultimately depicts or delivers the feelings of the other person. And in the same tone, it is but obvious that human beings they used to respond. This is what happened with so much of respect, with so much of love. The teacher asked her name Bholi. She spoke the name Bholi. That Bholi immediately thought that with this kind of love, nobody has ever talked to me. And it really touched her heart. Get up, said the teacher. It was not a command, but just a friendly suggestion. And Bholi got up. So it was what it was, of course, not a command. It was a friendly request. And you know, to friendly request, there is immediately their response. So she also immediately responded to that, and she woke up from his seat. Now tell me your name. The first thing that the teacher asked her was her name. Sweat broke over her whole body. She was completely covered with sweat, as she has never felt this kind of feeling that nobody has ever asked her name in such a polite manner. Would her stammering tongue again disgrace her? But she was uh, feeling that would her stammering would again lead to insult of her. For the sake of this kind woman, however, she decided to make an effort. But for teacher, who is asking her name in a very polite manner, she thought to give a reply. She had such a soothing voice; she would not laugh, laugh at her. She thought in deep inside her, in these thoughts, they don't directly come to her mind. But somehow, in one corner of her mind, these thoughts were there that the teacher won't laugh at her if she would stammer again. Ba ba bo bo. And she again she began to stammer. Well done, well done. The teacher encouraged her. Come on, now the full name. The teacher said, Well done, very well done. Now tell me your complete name. Bo 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 Bholi. At last she was able to say it and felt relief as if it was a great achievement. So this is how she felt great that this was his great achievement that she is able to speak her name completely. Well done. The teacher patted her affectionately and said, "Put your fear out of your heart, and you will be able to speak like everyone else." Now, teacher patted her, okay, at her back in this manner, and she said, "Well done, my dear child. You have really spoken well. If you will speak in this manner, you will speak like everyone else." Now, Bholi looked up as if to ask, "Really?" Now, Bholi looked at up with anticipation. She actually wanted to come out of her this problem of stammering because it is just because of her stammering that everyone was laughing at her all the time. So what she wanted, she wanted to come out of that. Okay, so for that reason, what happened? That she was looking with this with this kind of look and the feeling in her, you can say heart as well as mind that really nobody would laugh at me. Yes, yes. Will be very easy. You just come to school every day, and will you come? Now the next step for the teacher was to get assurance from her, because the teacher somehow at at one point she she knew this thing very well that she is quite afraid. Okay, and because she is quite afraid, she won't be coming to school. So she wanted that kind of assurance from her. So she said, "Yes, you just come to school. Can you come to school every day?" Bholi nodded. She nodded. No, say it aloud. But the teacher actually wanted me. The teacher actually, you can say, pushing up her. It is not just because she wanted an answer. It was that she wanted to elicit an answer. She wanted to get an answer from her. 
so that she should come out of her you can say fear and yes yes bholi herself was astonished that she had been able to see it yes yes bholi said yes and she was surprised that how she was able to speak this word without an effort and without stammering didn't i tell you now take this book now teacher said haven't i tell you told you take this book it is meant for you and she has taken that book in one month you will be able to read this book then i will give you a bigger book and then a still bigger one and in time you will be more learned than anyone else in the village now teacher said today i am giving you this book when you will completely learn and read this book i will give you the next one and then a bigger one and then you will be uh, you will be learned one of all the members of the village then no one will ever be able to laugh at you and then at that time no one, no one will laugh at you people will listen to you with respect and you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer understand no she said people will listen to you means when you will be a learned one learned girl a learned personality people will definitely listen to you to your thoughts to what you are saying okay so and then no one and no one will you will also not be able to stammer at that point understand now go home and come back early tomorrow morning she said now you go back home and you can come tomorrow bholi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village temple were ringing and the trees in front of the school house had blossomed into big flowers this is a you can say imagery used okay you can imagine this kind of scene okay image used by the writer here in order to show the effect of the happiness that ultimately emerged in bholi's heart so she felt as if all the bells of the village temple they are ringing and ultimately the tree big tree in front of her it blossomed also we showing her happiness her heart was throbbing with a new hope and new life it is for the first time that she has found this new hope and new life thus the years passed so in this manner what happened the years passed the village became a small town the little primary school became a high school so village turned out to be a the village became a small town with the passage of time there was you can say different kind of so you can say progressive things that happened and what happened that this village now it has turned into a small town with much advancement the small primary little primary school it turns out to be a high school upgradation was there they were now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill means see what were the advancements here that cinema under a tin shed where people used to have an entertainment and a cotton mill small okay the mill the main train began to stop at their railway station and the main train that was coming is also stopping at their railway station because earlier it was an insignificant village but now this time not one night after dinner ramlal said to his wife then shall i accept the sambar's bishop's proposal so one night she heard that ramdal his father he was talking to his wife now shall i accept bishambar's proposal now who is this bishambar okay yes certainly bholi will be lucky to get such a well to do bride groom a big shop a house of his own and i hear several thousand in the bank moreover he is not asking for any dowry so why who was thinking a bit in a materialistic manner and she was of course worried about her daughter bolia so she said yes of course we need to we need not to think about this matter we will we have to definitely accept it but now why she thought that it will be wise to accept that proposal because she thought that bolia will be lucky to get a well to do bride groom she will not feel any kind of problem in her house as moreover what is there that this bride groom bishambar is owning a big shop he has his own house and several uh, bucks you can say deposited in the bank also and moreover the thing is that we need not to give any dowry that's right but is he not so young you know almost the same age as i am and he also limps now this is the problem then okay you know that in older you can say picture in old pictures you must have seen that rich you can say people they get married poor girls or having some kind of problem 
right so he said but i think so our goal is not so young because the man is too old as much as my age now father said and he is going to get married what up you can say mentality and he also limps limps means he has a problem in his leg and he is not walking in a normal manner moreover children from his first wife are quite grown up see that the children from the first wife they have also grown up means they are um, they may be trying to they may be you can say trying to find a match for them and at that time father is going to get married see so what does it matter the wife replied the wife means i think so she is devoid of any kind of emotion she was just thinking only in the way that my girl need to be married she has never thought that there is a world outside for her now what happened she said so what does it matter there is not a big problem for it 45 or 50 it is no great age for a man you know what ever 45 or 50 man has no age no age man will always remain young and we are lucky that he is from another village and does not know about the pop marks and her lack of sense if we don't accept this proposal she may remain unmarried all her life she said no 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 i think so this is the right idea because we are lucky enough that this man is not from our village or nearby village is from some other village he is of course not knowing the reality of her daughter that she is a simpleton and she does not have any sense moreover her entire face was pop mark and no beauty so and she said if we don't accept this proposal she won't get this kind of you can say proposal again and she will remain unmarried all her life yes but i wonder what holi will say now ramla bit you can say having human like qualities he thought but what our holi will say what will that this that witless one say she is like a dumb cow see her wife body okay what this what she that senseless senseless girl will say she is just like as dumb as cow she won't speak it means that while living in a the family they are so far apart that they are not knowing about the development of thoughts that has been going on in bolis mind maybe you are right mother ramla now ramla he said maybe whatever you are saying is of course right in the other corner of the courtyard bholi lay awake on her cot and she is listening to her parents whispered conversation so now in the other part of the courtyard because there were not separate room people used to sleep in the open okay at night when the weather permits so bholi she was awakening in her cot and she was listening to all that conversation that was going on bishambar nath was a well to do grocer he came with a big party of friends now marriage has been set up so bishambar nath was a well to do grocer he owns a shop of grocery so he came with a big uh, big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding now wedding has been set up number of relatives friends they have come with complete pomp and show a brass band playing a popular tune from an indian film headed the procession procession means ceremony that gathering okay so in front of it he was sitting on a horse okay and dressed up in the uh, you can say in the attire of dulha right like a bridegroom okay wearing that sehra and all okay and in front of it brass band was moving it was playing the tune of famous hindi film song and this bridegroom riding on a decorated horse ram lal was overjoyed to such see such pomp and splendor ram lal was happy that my girl who was not at all expected to get married she is going to get married with that man and he was of course feeling you can say happy at the that kind of display this procession was giving he had never dreamt that his fourth daughter would have such a grand wedding he has never thought he thought that she will remain unmarried and how she got bholi's elder sisters who had come for the occasion were envious of her luck and bholi's other sisters who were married they were jealous how could she be able to get such a you can say good husband but they did not know the loopholes that he was limp and moreover you can say more he was a uh, you can say as that double of her age but but they were just looking at the procession they were looking just at the pomp and show when the auspicious moment came the priest said bring the bride now the time has come and bride is to be presented bholi clad means wearing in her lead silken bridal dress 
was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire you know that in front of you guys fire those you can say prayers were held and she was brought there upon asking by the priest <coughs> garland the bride one of his friends prompted to shambhala now that he has come when we have to put bar mala in each other's uh, next so now he said garland the bride put garland around bride's neck Bridegroom lifted the garland of yellow marigolds. Women slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face. Bishamba took a quick glance. Garland remained poised in his hand. So one of when he has raised up his hands in order to put garland in holy's, you can say that one of the women she replaced that veil, that gungat. Veil is covering that gungat from holy's face. Now what happened? That pock marked face was quite visible to Bishamba now. When he looked, his hands stopped there only. Means what to do? He was not ready to marry her. Bride slowly pulled down the veil over her face. Now, Bholi pulled down that face. She come to know that he has noticed my face. Have you seen her? Said Bishamba to the friend next to him. She has pock marks on her face. Now, Bishamba aside, whispering to his friend, Have you seen her face? The entire face is covered with pock marks. So what? You are not young either. He said. So what? What's the problem? Are you very young to marry a girl or a princess? Maybe, but if I am to marry her, her father must give me five thousand rupees. Now he said, of course, I don't bother about it. But the thing is that if if she is going to marry me, his father he would give me five thousand rupees as a dowry. Now, Ramlal went and placed his turban, his honor, at Bishamba's feet. Do not humiliate me, sir. Take two thousand rupees. So Ramlal was also not able to give five thousand rupees. He has taken off his turban and put in his, you can say, feet and said, "Please, please don't this kind of disgrace to me. And I am able to give you only two thousand rupees." Would that man agree? No. No, five thousand, or we give, or we go back. Keep your daughter. He said, "No, I want five thousand, and five thousand means five thousand. If you are not going to give me, we are going back with complete ceremony." Without completing the ceremony, be a little considerate, please. He said, "Please understand my condition. If you go back, I can never show my face up in the village." He said that I won't be able to face the people of the village. Then take out five thousand. The shambha said, "Then take out five thousand. That's fine." Tears streaming down his face. Ram Lal went in, opened the safe, counted out the notes. He placed the bundle at the bridegroom's feet. So Ram Lal went inside. Somehow he has managed those five thousand rupees, and he has come out with these five thousand rupees, and he has put up in on his feet. Please marry my daughter. On Bishamba's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile, and on that you can say greedy face of Bishamba turned a smile, which shows her his victory. Triumphant face shows his victory that finally I have won. He had he had gambled and won. Give me give me the gall and here now. He gambled. He was not sure whether he will be able to get the money, but this time he won. He said, "Now give me garland," and he tries to put in bolis. Next, see what happened. Once again, the veil was slid back from bride's face, but this time her eyes were not downcast. Again, the veil was replaced from bolis face, but her eyes they were not downcast. She was looking straight into his eyes. She was looking up, looking straight at her prospective husband. And in her eyes, there was neither anger nor hate, only cold contempt. So this time, it was not her. You can say anger, not her hate, but only you can say contempt, feeling of dislikeness. Okay, that she wanted to display. Now, Bishamba raised the garland to place it round bride's neck, but before he could do so, Bholi's hand struck out like a streak of lightning. And the garland was flung into the fire. She got up and threw away the veil. Now, as soon as he tried to put his veil in Bholi's neck, what she did? She threw it away. Okay, and that garland it fell into the fire. And Bholi, she stood up, took off his, took off her veil. Pitaji said Bholi in a clear, loud voice. And her father, mother, sister, brothers, relation, neighbors were startled, surprised to hear her. Speak without even slightest ever. See the difference, the kind of distance that developed among family members. Pitaji, take back your money, and I am not going to marry this man. So the climax comes. Okay, 
she said that i am not going to that man and what words she spoke that really made her teacher you can say appreciate her this will be very you can say story of completely of indian background indian origin but of course very interesting one so never underestimate anybody anything can happen with anybody that's all for today